guys, welcome to your 19th job tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be going over length members and string literals. Alright, to begin, let's create ourselves a new file. So, file, new, Java project, and let's name this Java Lesson 19. Under here, we're going to give ourselves a new package, com.dev plug dot lesson 19 and add your class. At this point I'm just going to be using the buttons uh, and we're going to name it main. Alright guys, so let's start our main method. Public static void main string args. Alright. Inside of this we're going to give ourselves some arrays. Int list equals int, new int, and then declare it for 10. Alright, int nums, and we're going to give it for 1, 2, and 3. And our last one is going to be a multi-dimensional. Array. Inside of here, uh, we're going to go one, two, and three. And then four and five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, we got to set the equal to. Alright, underneath our arrays, we're going to have a bunch of system.outs. So system dot, system dot out dot print line, and we're going to say the length of list, and then we're going to say list dot length. We're going to system dot out dot print line the length of nums is plus nums dot length then we go system dot out dot print line. The length of table is, and then this is where we get to have a little bit of fun. We type table dot length, which we have before. But our next one, we're going to see system dot out dot print line. The length of table, and then we give it. We give them the row. And we do table dot oh, table and then dot length. We can go ahead and copy and paste this two times and give it the value of one. This one the value of two and change it in your text as well. One, two. Let's give ourselves one last system dot out. You can just use these to uh, give yourself a little padding. All right. So now we're going to use a for loop. Use length to initialize list for int count equals zero. Pause count is less than the length dot list. 
then you can count and increment it up. Count increments up, and then we're going to say list i, you see it will be at 1. It will be at 0 first off when it goes through, and it's actually going to take i times 1, and so it'll put 1 into in 3, and uh, it'll go through the entire thing. So at place 1, it'll just go 1 through 10. Well, 0 through 9, actually. Um, and now what we're going to say is system.out.print here is list and now use length to display list for int count equals zero I'll count less than list dot length count goes up and inside of here we're going to say system dot out dot print print line list and then the i the count that is being incremented up it's actually supposed to be count I have notes to help me guide along my lessons and I wrote on it to count. Let's run the code. See that? Alright. That's just showing you some tricks you can do with the length member. You can also use the length member to copy data from one uh, array to another. Here's how we can do this. It's a really short program. So, int i it nums one equals new int and it's going to be ten. It nums two equals new int and then we're going to say ten. Say four i equals zero. I is less than nums dot length i increments up nums one nums one i equals i it's kind of cool right guys nums one equals i all right, and to copy nums one to nums two, we do if nums two dot length is greater than or equal to nums one dot length, then we're going to use two forced loops for i equals zero i is less than nums two dot length i increments up and I'm going to say i increments up and then we're going to say um, nums two i equals to nums one i and then we underneath that for loop we are going to say for i equals zero i is less than nums zero nums two dot length i plus plus and then we're going to say I is less than, and then we're going to say system dot out dot print. Nums to I. 
We don't actually need a print one, we can just use a print. Oh, I Alright, let's run this puppy. The problem with the code is my for loops weren't set up properly. So make sure that your uh, curly brackets are all in the right place. Let's go to source. A cool trick is actually to go to source and then format. It's a shortcut method too. Source format. And it'll make your code all pretty. Alright, I'm going to save this and I'll see you guys in the 20th tutorial.